Hi, I'm Vera. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about the best makeup looks and colors for light summers. Now, as a light summer, you have just a little bit of spring to your coloring, so it tends to be a little warmer than the other two summer types. So you have a very gentle complexion and you're also known as a tinted summer or a summer spring. Your celebrity buddies are Reese Witherspoon, Naomi Watts, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Kate Blanchett. As you may have noticed, their best red carpet makeup looks are ones that are very sheer and gentle. And this is due to the fact that their natural color palette is very subdued. Your best makeup look is one that incorporates very gentle and subtle colors that give you this nymph-like radiance. From all the color seasons, you're the one on whom all the colors appear twice as dark. So make sure that you do not overdo on the dark colors. The lighter ones actually add a glow and add, look more colorful on you than they would on any other season. Because you look best in light to medium valley colors, you have to make sure that you do not use black, aside from mascara. Now for foundation, you're looking at something with a pink undertone, which is a cool base color. However, it can have just a touch of peach because you are related to spring. The color that I'm using is by Clarins and it is this one. It is the True Comfort Foundation in Latte. This is just my skin color. Uh, just make sure that when you look and you test yourself for the foundation that it blends very nicely into your skin, it doesn't appear too yellow and it doesn't appear too pink. As for blush, you're looking for a soft orchid or a rose pink. The color that I'm using for my blush is a orchid pink and it's called Nymph. It's by the brand Zuzu since it's organic. I like to use organic as much as possible. And it's a very nice cool base pink. Depending on your skin tone, you may need to go either lighter or darker than this. Just make sure it looks very natural when you try it on. It shouldn't appear very bright pink, it shouldn't be too vibrant, and yet it shouldn't look yellow or it shouldn't make your skin look sallow. For eyeshadow, your best looks are sheer and subdued, and nothing darker than a brown or a gray. That is going to look too harsh on you and it's going to wash out the rest of your features. So you're looking for colors that would enhance rather than overpower your look. I find that teals or grays or dusty blues look amazing on light summers. Even the lightest of colors can look very vibrant on a light summer, but could wash out a cool summer. The colors that I'm wearing are by Smashbox and it's this color here. So we have Cinder and then I'm using Pastel, which is like a pinky color. And to outline, since I don't use eyeliner, I prefer to use eyeshadow as eyeliner, I'm using this darker brown, which is called Bark. The reason I choose to use powdered eyeliner instead of the liquid one is because it's easier to blend. However, if you do prefer liquid eyeliner, make sure it's not black, go for a darker brown. For mascara, you may use black, but that is the only place where it does look okay. The only place where you, black can look great on you is actually mascara. However, I find that many light summers who have a very fair complexion and very fair skin tend to look better in a brown or even a navy mascara instead of black. For a lipstick, you have to be careful not to overdo on the intensity. It helps to look at the red carpet looks of Reese Witherspoon or Naomi Watts where they have this really sheer pinky lipstick. The lipstick that I'm wearing is by Calvin Klein and this color is called Untamed. It's like a mauve with just a subtle amount of coral in it. Since you are close to spring, you can handle just a little bit of coral, but you're not going to go for something orange. It needs to be mixed with pink. Burt's Bees carries a nice color of lip shimmer called Strawberry, and I find this one to be particularly good for light summers because it has a nice amount of pigment which adds color, and yet it doesn't seem too intense. If you feel like wearing red, I suggest going more for a pink rather than a red. It's easy for a light summer to overdo on the color intensity. So if you're wearing scarlet red, the lipstick is the only thing that's going to appear on your face. Everything else will look very, very washed out. So if you feel like going for red, go for a deeper pink, like a mauve. It'll appear as beautiful as a red does on a different color season and yet it will still give you that lovely glow and festive look that you may lo be looking for. Remember that overall your best look is one that is very fresh, cool, and gentle. 
So look up the celebrities for inspirations because they do have professional makeup artists who know their skin complexion very well. Aim to enhance the natural colors already present in your face. So let's say you have green eyes, use gentle greens. If you have blue eyes, add lots of blue eyeshadow. Also keep the colors very subdued and blended. You don't want anything with a harsh line in your face because light summers as a general rule, have skin that blends from one color into the next. They don't have much contrast. You may, of course, find the occasional light summer with dark hair or even black hair, but still you need to keep your colors very subdued and blended in order to look fresh-faced and glowing. So these are my makeup tips for light summer. Please subscribe for more videos and I will see you next time. Bye!